I've just, uh, I'm in a graveyard. Right, let's get cut off. Let's take this serious, mate. We're in lockdown, so camping and all that's out of the question. So what I thought I'd do, and it's something that I've been thinking about for a while, and it's something that I like to discuss with uh, with anyone who'll listen to me, is your top five items, top five uh, survival, bushcraft, camping items that you would take with you in an emergency or things that are just going to last. Uh, you know, like that show alone or whatever it's called, alone, is it? Alone, like that, where you take you take stuff, <laughs> pack of condoms, some Pringles, whatever. So this is mine. I've come up with my, uh, I've come up with my top five, and it it's been changing. This I've been thinking about it for a few days, and it's it's sort of changed a little bit. And this is my final five. Last answer, Chris Tarrant. I've had a good day. I'm off. See you later. Cheers. Five. Right. And without further ado, I've got them all in my bag. Let's get into it. And this is in no particular order. I've gone for things that, you know, that have multiple uses, that uh, that are essential <laughs> to me, anyway. Should have got all this out before, shouldn't I? But there you go, never mind. <laughs> I hope you're all doing well anyway. Right, let's get into it then. So... Well, this is not wrong, I hate this. Sorry. Beach. This, look at this, mate. I'm in this cool, cool old graveyard that it's just totally abandoned. No one comes here. Middle of the countryside. Maybe I'll do a wild camp here. That might be a bit, yeah. Wild camp in a graveyard. Give us a thumbs up if you want to see me wild camp in this graveyard. Cack it. Sidetracked. Right, first thing on the list is a pot. My zebra billy can. The reason being is that you're going to need something to carry your water in, to boil your water, you can cook food in it. If I'm at the coast and I'm walking around I can chuck shellfish and seaweed and bits and pieces in there. And it's essential because I haven't got a water purifier in my top five so I would have to make one with charcoal and grass sand whatever it may be I can make a water purifier but then I'll have to boil it and this will be perfect for that and I can drink out of it eat out of it and it's it's not I'm gonna, it's not using the word bomb proof because I'm sure a scud missile could take that out but it's it's a sturdy bit of kit and that is coming with me that is coming with me I'm just kneeling down here ah. Just kneeling down in a in a graveyard. Also, I'm trying not to walk on the gravestones and paying paying my respects and being respectful of the of the uh, of the memories of the people that have uh, of absent friends gone but not forgotten. Well, maybe forgotten actually. You've only got a few generations and then you're gone, aren't you? Unless you're on Instagram and Facebook and that these days, it'd be harder to erase your memory. Anyway. <laughs> This is, I should have planned this a little bit better. This is, I'm getting sidetracked a bit, but my second item is a tarp. Not an extra light tarp or anything like that. This is the, the DD 3x3 free free camo tarp. A myriad of different uses I could get for this. It's an instant shelter. So it's gonna protect me from the rain. It can be a ground sheet. Uh, I can use it to, if you lay it down, to collect water. Um, you could lay it on the ground and let all the bugs come and nestle under it, take them, that's nutrients. Uh, you can wrap it round, you put it right, I mean, there's, there's loads of different things you could do with it. You can have it as a little bivy bag. The different ways you can set it up too, there's so many, because of all the different tie out points. You, could, uh, you can just have it to suit your situation, whether that's on the beach, using a stick, or whether you're on the side of a cliff, or using rocks, or whatever it may be. Three by three tarp is coming with me. If I was choosing properly, I'd probably even go with a 4x4 and create a proper like living area underneath you. So the next one is, because I thought about this, I'm going to have to stay warm, is a 100% pure wool blanket. 
again multiple uses you've seen me before use it as a as a hoodie or a coat keeps you warm fire retardant keeps you warm even when wet and we could string this up you could use it as a hammock you can string it up as a hammock wrap it round you to keep you warm use it as a sling uh, a stretcher there's all sorts of different things you could do with this as well so it's versatile and that's the key that's what I was thinking about when choosing all these items is the versatility of them they're not just a one it wonder wool blanket item number three right this one took a little bit of uh, a little bit of thinking because I was flitting between right I'm gonna need something to cut with do I get get in here do I use an axe or a knife and up until yesterday I was on I was I was sold on the axe because I thought it's more robust it can still cut but I can use it for you know hammering pegs in and, and whatnot but then I thought actually I can make something I can make a tool to hammer stuff in and do all the hammering that an axe can do a knife is just a little bit more um, accessible it's easy to access transport around and you can do finer work with it and so I've chose a knife and I've chose not the SE3 uh, not my new knife Amanda new knife <laughs> but something akin to this this is by my boy Luke at York Knives and he's given me this ages ago, it's one, of his, uh, it's one of his early specimens and the reason that I've chose this is because it's 5mm thick so I can use that pretty much as an axe, I can batten the living daylights out of that uh, split wood with it and it's a Scandi grind so it's going to, it's still I can still choke up on it and get some, uh, some finer work done and it's just easier than an axe to carry around and that's just my preference I'm more I lean more towards the knives than an axe so that is item number <laughs> item number four a thick five mil so like the SE5 the SE5 would be a classic example of a robust knife that isn't going to let you down it's not going to break you can use it as a crowbar so a 5 mil thick knife, item number 4. Here we go, we're flying through this. So item number 5. Again, I did think about this. and At one point it was going to be a water purifier. But then I thought, that's not going to last. Eventually that will run out. Um, so, this. You're going to need fire. Fire is essential. And although I could do bow drill, it's in the depths of winter every time you want to get a fire going doing a bow drill would just be a chore so a fire steel and I've gone for this one which you may have seen me use uh, before and I've gone for this one because look at the size of that it's an absolute barge pole of a thing and that I mean you'd be struggling you would struggle to use all that in your lifetime there's so many strikes on it even let me have a look in my little pouch here this is my light my fire fire steel which I've had for years you can see that it's um probably carcass focusing issues but you can see how much it's worn down but still that's got so much life left in it and that's after years of use so you can imagine something like that that's lasting you a lifetime and it's big enough to not misplace you can also use it as a bit of a thwarter if you need to uh, if you need to and that is item number five and I've thought about this I have spent a lot of time thinking like which what five items and there's been things that have come and gone from that but I think that's my top five when we get out of winter and out of lockdown I might just do I'll do, an, uh, I'll do a camp just with them five items and put it to the test. Shall I tag a few people in it or not? Or should we not bother with that? Nah, I won't tag anyone. But if you want to do it, if you're watching and you've got a, you know, you want to do it, then do it. <laughs> uh, 
and tag me in it or let me know shoot me over your video of your five your um your top five for survival wherever you are in the world it'd be interesting to see if you're in canada or america or you know bulgaria uncle bulgaria wherever you are uh, to see how it would change depending on the your location that might be quite interesting so but that's it mate that's it so just to recap zebra billy can wool blanket thick five mil knife decent fire steel and a decent tarp five items to stay alive five to stay alive <laughs> hey that's a thumbnail that isn't it that's i mean that's the title five to stay alive hey oh, right it's a lovely day i did just pop out to go through these these five items with you but it's such a lovely day i've been uh, sidetracked looking for mushrooms in these fields but we the first frosts have started to come now so some of the big players are getting wiped out anyway don't talk about that don't need to know right that's it if you want to do your top five um, top five survival bushcrafty items tag me in it or just let me know about it then that would be cool to see and uh, lockdown is over next week and I'm off out as soon as it's over we've managed to get Joey D out for one more one more camp before he comes a daddy part two so stay tuned for that and uh, look after yourselves I hope you're all still uh, taking care of yourselves and fighting the good fight in these troubled times much love uh, au revoir This is a fascinating place mate, We Respect, respect. <laughs> thumbs up if you want to see, ah, shall I camp here? Give us a thumbs up if you want to see me camping in, a, in here, in an abandoned graveyard. Might be pretty cool, anyway, take it easy, see you later. Bye.